What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another DE Hammer video. Today we're going to be installing G Sender onto a Raspberry Pi. We'll be using a 32 gig SD micro card to put our operating system and G Sender on. And it's actually very simple. The hardest part is getting uh, the OS and Raspberry Pi set up. But it's not that that's hard, it just takes a while. Uh, we will also be uh, testing it out on the 3018 for the video. I have hooked it up to my long mill and it does work. Everything's good there. Do want to remind everyone, as of this filming, G Cinder is still in beta. So take it for what it is. There can still be issues, but so far I haven't run into any. So before we jump into the video, remember to hit that subscribe and bell button to keep up with all the latest videos. Now let's get into this. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check that our SD micro card is formatted properly. And we can see here that it is. It is formatted as FAT32. If uh, yours is not, you can just right click on the disk and then go down to Format. Once in there, under File System, you go and choose FAT32 and then hit Start Format it. Ours is already formatted, so let's jump into the Raspberry Pi Imager. Uh, there will be a link down below for where to get this. We're going to be using the Raspberry uh, Pi Full. Next, choose your storage. Make sure that is the correct one. That is our disk D. And then go and click right to start. This will erase everything on there. So just make sure if you have anything already on there that you want that you take it off. And this can take a while. So go and make yourself a cup of coffee. So let's let this install and we'll come back and go over the next steps. All right, it's fully installed. We'll hit continue to go on. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to safely eject this from our computer and then plug it into the Raspberry Pi. All right, so now we've got it plugged into the Raspberry Pi and everything's up. Here, you're just gonna go through and set it up. Pick the country, language, and time zone that's relevant to you, and just go through all this setup. I am using VNC, and it is a little bit lagging, <laughs> to say the least. It may be going through and the screen hasn't fully updated, but that's just because of the software I'm using to video capture all of this. Not going to mess with the screen setup here, so we'll just go ahead and click Next. Wi-Fi, if you wanted to hook up Wi-Fi. Now, if you're using a metal case and trying to do Wi-Fi, I would suggest finding some kind of plastic case. That metal one will block the Wi-Fi signal. Or my personal favorite method, hardwiring it in. All right, let's get to the next step. And the next step is to update the OS. So this is the next longest step in the whole process. So you have flashing the SD card micro, and then you have updating the actual OS here. And those are the two longest part. After this, it's smooth sailing. All right, now that we have everything updated, let's restart, and then we'll jump back in and download G-Sender from CNC's webpage. All right, so let's go get G-Sender. So we'll open up our browser, and we're gonna go to cnc.com slash G-Sender. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down. Right, right here, you'll see downloads, latest version. You can see all the latest releases, but we're just gonna go ahead, click Raspberry Pi right here, and it'll automatically start downloading. We'll wait for that to finish. Then we'll click here, show in folder. Let's minimize that. And then downloads, we're just going to go drag and 
drop this on our desktop. We can close out the downloads. Now, before we use this, let's, we're gonna to need to right click here, go to properties, then go to permissions, and on the execute right here, change that from nobody to anyone, hit okay, and now we can start using it. All right, now that we got our Raspberry Pi all connected, and we have it hooked up to the 3018 Prover. We're gonna go ahead and let's open up Gcinder. So we'll double click and then hit execute. All right, so Gcinder is up. So to connect to it, we're gonna come up here to the left top here. It's saying no device found. Uh, when I hooked it up to my long mill, it registers right there and just click and connect but we're gonna come down to this little arrow, click there, and then we're gonna click on USB. And now we're connected, we're getting a uh, alarm. So we'll just click here to unlock the machine. And now we should be able to move it. All right. So moving it, is gonna be over here in the jog control. You can move it on the X and Y. It's set at five millimeters right now. You can go down, go up, and Z is here as well, up or down. And we can go up, go along the X, go along the Y. Uh, you can also change how fast it goes with rapid speed, the normal, or precise. You want to see what your Gerbil settings are. Come over here to console. Click there, and you'll be able to see all your settings right there and change them with the dollar dollar. If you have a probe, this is where you would set that up. You can do macros, and even if you had coolant, you could control it there. Okay. Let's go back and just show how we would set our job zero. So let's just say we're gonna come over, get in the lower left-hand corner. And then just, you know, get it to where you want it. And let's just say it was there. And then you can come up here and zero all. And you can see it changes that here to zero, zero, zero. Your job is now zeroed. Uh, another cool feature, let's just say, you know, it's gone over here, up here. Can now say go to and send it all back to zero. So that's nice functionality there. All right, now let's look at the visualizer here. There's a couple different ways you can change how you see things. You can use your mouse, right click and hold, drags. Left click and hold is rotate. And then to zoom in, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Or you can come down here and click on a view. And it'll change and take you there. To load your G code file, right there. Some of the other cool features it has is the surfacing. So you could surface your spoil board and create the G code from inside G Cinder. It'll pop this up. You just put in your length, your width, uh, your router bit dimension, spindle speed, step over feed rate, all that fun stuff. And then generate G code. There's also height map, calibrate, firmware, and then you can come here in the settings to fine tune it even more. 
it has several machines you can choose from. You know, plug in their sizes and everything. Since we're using the 3018, we got that there. Here's where you control the spindle or laser. For workspaces here, you have inches or millimeters, jogging presets, movement, even more settings for the probe, shortcuts. So this is gonna be your hotkeys, visualizer messing around in there. If you wanna ignore tool changes, start and stop uh, G-code commands and about where G-Sender is right now. As of right now, we are in beta, so the full version is not released. See them making lots of strides and progress and updating on a regular basis, so keep your eyes out on that. G Cinder is brought to us by the fine folks over at CNC Labs. They make the long mill, which is, in my opinion, a very good machine. Love their customer service, and so far from what I can see in G Cinder, I'm I'm liking it as well. Again, beta, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So as with any beta, be safe, protect yourself, play around, run some tests before you go and put on some very expensive stock material to cut. Hope this helped you guys out. Remember, if you haven't, subscribe and hit that bell button. Keep up with all the latest DE Hammer videos. And remember, until next time, keep making stuff.